All right, good afternoon, guys. We are starting on pages 36 and 37 today. And to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to help you out just like I've been doing. Now, please follow directions, especially my students. I see several of you just tracing the letters and not actually listening or watching the videos. And those of you doing that will have to get a brand new pack and start all over. You'll keep doing cursive until you get it done correctly. All right. So let's get this started. So we're starting with the cursive lowercase j. As you can see on the bottom or on this picture over here on the side, you start from the bottom and then go up. Come down, look back around, and stop in the middle, and then you put the dot. Up, down, come back around, and you put the dot. Very simple to do, okay? Now remember, if I'm going too fast for you, please, you can have the option to slow it down on your video, or you can simply rewind it and watch me do it again. But you need to make sure that your letters look the same or close to the same. So after you trace... Remember, you're supposed to do one under each of them, okay? So, start at the bottom, go up, come down, back around, stop, just like that, okay? Now, you do the rest of them. Now, I'm going to show you the lowercase p. You start it off the same way. Start at the bottom, come back up, loop around, curve around, and come back up. It has almost the exact same layout, except it has that little bubble instead of just the tail so you do a little bubble and then the tail and this one doesn't have a dot because it's a p not a j p b and j all right we start at the bottom come up come down loop remember we're stopping at the middle line we do not come past the middle line right here on this letter all right and then you do one for each of those underneath it. If it does not does not look like the same, your teacher should be checking you and making you redo it. I know I am making my students have done that. I've only had one student out of my 69 who have actually done this correctly. That is not acceptable. But I'm sure you fourth and fifth graders are doing just fine, especially my fourth graders from last year. All right, and then you trace these words. As to help me save some time, I'm only going to trace every other word. But you should trace all of them and then write again underneath it. So this is pound, P, O, U, N, D. Please watch me write the word first before you do it. Pound, A, beat, cross your T. And then pull up. You want to trace up. And then you write the words underneath it. Make sure it looks the same. Okay? There's no point for you wasting your time. Or wasting my time. Because I'm not doing this for fun. Trust me, this is Saturday. I'd rather be at home. Alright. Trace those. All of them. And then right underneath it, all right? That's that page. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, R is an S. This is super easy and probably the most important because you're going to write these most often because these are very common consonants. Hope you all know what those are. All right, so letter R. Start at the bottom, come up, little bitty curve, and then come back around, or slant properly. Slant, come back up. Curve up, slant, down, up. Curve up, slant, down, up. Boom, boom. It kind of looks like the slant in the B, except it doesn't have the L shape behind it. All right? And you do the same exact thing underneath it, and you do it for all of those. There should be one under each of them. The S, S is very simple. Ha, uh ha. -huh. Start at the bottom, curve up, curve back down, and then give it a tail. Bottom, up, give it a tail. All right? See how quickly I'm doing these? They're very simple. Make sure you do not go past the bottom line or the middle line. You see, this is all held underneath, okay? And then you do one for each of them down there. 
All right. So again, I'm just going to do every other word to save time. So, P R I D E. Remember, finish your words before you dot your I's or cross your T's. Joy. Sail. Sailboat. And blossom. That's a long word, so be careful. This is B L O S S O M. And blossom. I'll do A and then I'll do Bell. Oh, and that A was terrible. So if you mess up, please fix it because I'm doing it. I'm taking my time. These videos aren't short. You know that. B E L L. All right. And you trace under each of those. Remember, you do trace every single word. I'm not just to save some time, okay? And in this circle, I want you to put the number four so I know that you're paying attention. All right. I'm going to stop here on page 37 and I'll start the next video. See you in a minute.